Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to Lumber Tycoon Town. My goodness, Code, do you ever record anything else? Yes, I do. I do record other things, but for some reason this week with the, the whole conveyor belt system, I've just been enamored. I'm like, I got to figure, I, I've got to play with this. I've got to do more things with the, the door bridge glitch conveyor belt thingy. <clears throat> Which, by the way, um, I have spoken with um, Electro and Jamek. Jim Culus, Jim Culus, because I keep saying Jimeculus and it's, it's wrong. So um, I do apologize. <clears throat> so what are we doing tonight? First, you're going to go down and hit that subscribe button because I've got like 60, no, it's 90% it's of all viewers. It, like if you're watching this video right now, 90% chance that you're not subscribed. Hit the subscribe button, comment, notifications, all that stuff I'm supposed to call out. But Here's the cool thing. It's your choice. If you don't want to hit it, don't worry about it. Don't hit it. I'm just complaining because I see like 90% of everybody is a unique viewer. You're here for the first time. And if you don't know what I'm going to be doing, like there's a couple of videos that you need to go watch first. Um, a lot of you put down in the comments code, why don't you just do a, a, a normal Bolden Brash and see if it works? Well, I have no clue where I would possibly get a bold and brash uh, painting from. Like, I've looked all over my base and I can't find them anywhere along the base. So I, I just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Code, I see one. I sent, there's gonna be somebody in the comments that's gonna be like, Code, there's one right there on your wall. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. <laughs> Didn't see it before. So yes, we, we will try. Um, Oh gosh, I forgot. The the crazy thing about this setup. Oh gosh. Am I stuck stuck? I'm like stuck stuck. The Okay, fine. Oh, there we go. Crazy thing about this setup is that painting right there. That's what sticks it to uh, the place. So we'll take that out real quick. Oh, it's not just that, is it? What else is stacking it? It, it? Is that it? Is that the only thing that's... No, it's bound to the conveyor belt. Okay. Let's move the conveyor belt out. There we go. There it goes. Good deal, yo. <clears throat> so, oh gosh. If you ever get stuck inside the menu in first person, just hit O, which stands for out. Like camera out. I think you can do in with I and O. So, I moves in, O moves out. So if you're in first person, right, and you do some silly stuff like bam, oh no, I can't click on anything. How am I supposed to get out of this menu? Hit O, okay? I don't, I don't know if you guys knew that or not. It's a very good talent to have. Very, very good thing, tool in your belt of awesomeness for um, lumber taken too. Oh, I need a second wall, don't I? Oh, wait a second. It's, no, that's what we were measuring last time. So I need a second tile. Not a small tile, silly. Let's go for that large tiles. Turn, rotates. Right there. And then we're going to need one of these bold and brass. No, come here, sir. Boom. All right, so on the back side here, rotate. I think it's supposed to be offset by one like that. Then we can set the conveyor belt. So rotate, rotate, rotate. Like that and all the way down. Oh gosh, it's not letting me go all the way down. Hopefully that's close enough. Uh, all right, let's go click. <laughs> that didn't bond. Why for you not bond? I think it's because this is this isn't low enough. It's not down in the ground. Whoa! Yeah, do it. Break, break. Yay! Love it when it breaks. Okay. So let's try that again. Is that down on the ground? It's 
not down on the ground. How do we get it down on the ground? Oh, is it facing the right way? Hold up, hold up. I know it's backwards, but it might not be. Move. Let's see. Let's do another rotate. That should be the front. No. Rotate. Rotate. Turn, turn. All right, so let's try, try that. Nope, that's the front. Move. Rotate, rotate, turn, turn. Uh, Squidward's face supposed to be at the top or the bottom? Okay, so his head is that direction. And if you here, it, a lot of people are going to be like, "Prove it, code." So we'll just move this real quick. See his head is facing that way. Uh, we are touching this side, not this side. Hit B. <laughs> now let's see if we can get that to to land on there. Not wanting to go flat on the ground, is it? Is that just, is that because I'm building on something? Hold on. No, I got to go flat right there. Let's see, rotate. Hmm, turn, turn. Why is it not doing it? Are we, are we building in the right spot? Let's go wall. <laughs> Smooth wall. I'm gonna come out two units. One, two. And then we build tile, tile. So the alignment is good. Maybe it's because I'm, I've got something below it. Hold on, can I move, can I move this floor that's below? Just for a second, here. We'll, we'll mess up my my bridge for the experiment. I'm okay with that. For my ramp. <laughs> so, no, it's definitely something that's there in the way. Huh. Rotate, rotate. Down, down, go down. It's as far down as it's going. I ain't going any further. Okay, I know for a fact that, that that handle was on the opposite side, so rotate, rotate, turn, turn. Oh great, now I done broke it. It's just, it's broken. Dang it. All right, hold on. Nope. That ain't working. Should it just be one tile, maybe? It worked with the pineapple and the one tile, so I'll take the one tile out. Well, we gotta flip this truck out of the way. There we go. And now let's try moving this again. Move. Rotate. Oh, hold on. I just realized. It's got to be the opposite direction because it's got to hang off this end over here. Uh oh. Rotate, rotate. There we go. Now. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that was my problem. Oh, conveyor belt's gone. Dang it. Um. I could reload the base, but that's going to take forever, so we're just going to. Grab another conveyor belt. Hello. Oh, no, you're tilted. I need a non-tilted conveyor belt. Non-tilted conveyor belt. You'll do. Come here. We'll just break everything on my base to try and get this to work. <laughs> now, somebody was telling me in the comments, code, you gotta have it like six units off the ground or something like that. I'm like, that sounds silly. I don't wanna do that. It sounds horrible. Rotate. Okay. Come on. Get on the back. Oh. Move. 
rotate, rotate, turn, turn. There it is. Oh, no, upside down. <laughs> rotate, rotate. I guess I didn't need to do rotate, rotate the first time. I just needed to do a, a turn, turn. Hey, hey, that's stuck. Oh, <gasps> we got it. Crazy. I'm crazy for feeling so lonely. And we only used one tile in between. See that? So that one tile length causes the entire thing to bond. Now, this, hopefully, does not bond. Dang it. Dang you. Okay, so we're gonna need um, the utility to truck. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. Oh no, it's dark time. Dark time means no time for, what's her face? Ginny. Okay, turn, rotate, turn. That's okay. We can we can put this back together while we while we wait. Oh, and there's another tile underneath there. Dang it. There we go. Boop boop boop. <laughs> Head over to the other side. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. But yeah, that's kind of cool. I wonder if we can um, attach something to the tailgate. Because if you guys look down here, we attach doors to the front of this car. And if you've never seen this before, this is how to get underneath the base. Um, I think Flapper came up with this. So, Flapper, huge shout out to you, buddy. Anyhow, if you've never seen this before, check this out. Uh, it's probably going to kill me, so let's go ahead and drop axes, just in case. But head into the passenger side. I've got this little lever. Click. Oh, it didn't work. Why didn't it not work? Hold on. Oh, it's not hooked up. Oh, somebody moved my wire. That's okay. Lol. Code equals noob. Actually, I'm going to take this one right here. Not that. Don't take the floor. Take that neon. Move. <laughs> this way we'll get some light while we're down there. And I could hook it up to a longer delay timer. Mm, actually... That should work. Let's go test. Click. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Okay. Let's go see if, uh, if I'm going to die under there. Because usually there's water underneath this plot. Yeah, I'm going to die. No. Oh no, I've died. I did, I did, I I wonder, could I attach like six or seven of these things? Hmm. I guess I could just attach a door bridge. Like attach a whole bunch of doors. So it's a door bridge, right? and stick the car sideways and then when you clicked it it would just swing you out to that place so you can make like a a fast ladder that climbs up have you guys ever seen the fast ladders oh i don't think i've ever shown these to you okay so tilt conveyor right if you take a tilt conveyor rotate turn rotate turn rotate is that right no that's upside down turn turn there we go 
So if you take conveyors and you face them upwards, you go up like super fast, but you gotta have a lot of them. So here, I don't think I ever use these anymore for like long planks or anything. So we're just gonna do this. It's gonna be an experiment Friday. Happy Friday, by the way. I hope you guys are having uh, a wonderful day. And if you're not, I hope your day gets much better. <laughs> Which is a very generic thing for me to say. Is, oh, God, thank you so much for the good feels. You're welcome. But I'm serious. If you are having a bad day, I hope your day goes much better. Boop. Okay. This isn't quite as fast as I thought it was going to be. That or something's changed. There we go. You should be able to walk... Up. Oh gosh. I'm not going up fast at all. I can't even go up sideways. Oh, there it was. So instead of dire directly walking on it, which doesn't work, kind of give it an angle a little bit. There we go. That's direct walking. Yeah, I guess you have to be in first person. But you'll get the hang of it. There's a there's a technique to it. Anyhow. Oh, not that one. I need the tilted. Thank you. Oh, that said tilted. Ah. <laughs> and we're never gonna be using this thing again. Right? So I've got a ton of tilted here. I just whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. It was a good idea at the time. I mean, it worked for the most part, but we don't need it now. Skills. Got them build skills. That should be enough for the demo to show you what I mean. Drink. Now, some people have experimented with placing chairs one on top of the other, which that does work. Uh, another person has made an elevator by squishing wood in between vertical elevators, which works. Uh, it's very janky, <laughs> really unstable. Is that another one that just disappeared on me? My goodness. What's up with parts disappearing? There we go. All, right, all these, all these are uh, needing swapped. It's an escalator. Going up my little escalator there. Yay. Anyhow, a much faster way is to do that 45 angles and hold uh, W and S at the same time. Zoom. But you have to walk, walk at an angle, which is weird. Used to, you could just walk straight onto it. But now it's, it's like a little bit of an artwork kind of thing. Huh. Does it push you off? It does. Sweet. Okay, what was I talking about before? I don't I don't remember. We were doing something up here. Experiments. Oh, I was uh, wasting time so I could go and get the other car. It's now daylight, so let's go get the Utility 2 car. And I think that's what it's supposed to be. Is it Utility 2 car that I'm supposed to use? Don't know. But can never go wrong with a couple of utility twos, right? Unless they're like ten million dollars a piece now. Price change. <laughs> doom do doom doom. Doom do doom. Follow me on Twitter. Doom do doom doom. Doom do doom doom doom. Follow me on Instagram. 
and Twitch and Twitter, I already said Twitter, and something else. Google Code Prime, eight today in your browser, and you'll see some things. Oh, hold up, did I show you guys the book? The book? I did show you. In fact, I made an entire video about it yesterday. Oh, sorry guys. I am, I'm a little tired, if you can't tell. Um, been kind of wearing myself out, just trying to get everything done. And we had Oliver's birthday. So, happy birthday, Oliver. I'm very proud of you. Even though I did have to take your door off the hinges because you were locking and not opening it when I told you to. Which, I understand your privacy. If you need some privacy, fine. But, if your dad knows you're supposed to be going to bed, and I tell you five times to unlock your door, and you don't do it, to the point that I've got to yell? <gasps> Goodness. So, I took his door. I'm gonna give it back tomorrow. Don't tell him. Well, actually, this video doesn't come out until after he gets his door back, so, yeah, won't matter. Um, I could just open that, right? Actually, I, I don't feel safe doing that. Not all the way across here. So we're gonna pack that back up in the box, grab it out, and let's go. Now, before I go too far, I did want to go and check out here, fancy furnishings. Real quick. Secret door? Maniacs? <gasps> no. Secret door? Maniacs? <gasps> no. I wonder if that's still under there. <laughs> I know uh, there's still a hole in the carpet, but they're not on anything else. By the way, if you guys weren't here for the Maniacs event, it, I think it was Abysmus. That was so cool. There's a huge maze that was under here and it took us forever to figure it out. So, Defaultio, come up with another maze. We like mazes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I may have to continue this uh, some other time. I'm super excited that that worked though. The door bridge. I mean, at least it proves that the glitch does work. I mean, we knew the glitch worked because we saw the video, but having it attached to door bridges, crazy. Go around the side. One code primer goes around the outside. Around the outside, around the outside. Boom, boom. All right, there we go. Now, I'll just set you. Oh, I gotta move that stuff first. Okay, fine. Set you down right there. There you go. That's good. Okay, get out of there. Move. Stick you, whoa. Okay, take you right there. And, oh, I'm gonna have to move that car, aren't I? Come on, come on, rotate. Whoa, okay, works. Hit B, jump back up. 24 minutes, my goodness. We're almost to a 30 minute mark. You guys almost got like a full episode. Crazy. All right, move that. That's the only thing that's actually holding it on. Not anything else. All right. Whoa, did I just place one? I did not mean to place one. Where'd that thing go? Where'd you go, sucker? I mean it. Oh, there it is. It's like in front of the truck. Destroy. Now, we need to take this, move it back here. Rotate, turn, rotate, rotate, turn, rotate. Rotate, turn, turn. That's it. Put that right here. And then this. I need to move this wire. And this. Come on. 
B game. Rotate, rotate. Like that. Not going to be able to move it with the car in the way. Not going to be able to move that car with this car in the way. So. Back it up. Back it up. Alright. And slap. Slap chop. There we go. Alright. Stick. Yay. That's so cool. Alright. Stick. Did not stick. So maybe it's not a utility too? Oh, oh, or, or, we need that other tile in there. Oh, I bet that's what it is. Okay. I've got no axes on me, so I can't do my outro. Dang it. There we go. Now I've got an axe. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, where, yes, the Bolden Brash does work. Whatever properties it's got will transfer that conveyor belt to the other system. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering if, hmm, because we can see that it's stuck in the back of the truck here, but can I see to the back of the truck itself? Hold on, can we move this? Bold and brand. Move, no. Nope. Let's see. I want to move this. Move. Can I see on the inside of the truck? Just right. <clears throat> right here. Come on, please. Show me your secrets. Oh, look at that. Okay. So that is almost as thick as the back part of this wall. So that must be the start welding point or something. And it welds to whatever it finds. That's how we're able to do the, um, the tank trucks and I guess another part that you could bind is this, the tailgate. You would have to have it exactly on there though. Uh oh. Uh oh, where'd that sucker go? Oh, there it is. Way over there. What in the world? Hmm. I wonder. Just an idea, just a thought. Since we still have a little bit more time. We do have time, don't we? Yeah, we got time. Can I build on the back of this truck? Cannot get past that. Hmm. So, what if, hold on, hold on, hold on. Move here. What if I were to build post? Where's post? Post, post, post. Okay. Turn, rotate, turn. Post here. Turn, rotate. It's as far up against the wall as I can get it. Okay. I need another conveyor belt. Because I just thought of something. Something that could be amazing or could be complete poop. Who knows? We'll find out in a second. Because they got the rollers into the back of the uh, thing, right? Oh, wait. So if I do that, I can't actually build onto... Oh, wait, there we go. That is not in there. In fact, it's like, I 
would say half off. So let's move this. We're going to go back one unit. Open this back up. And now it's too far. So we need to come forward a couple tiles. <laughs> Maybe just one tile. We'll try we'll try one tile. One Kyle. It's one Kyle. No, it's tiles. Let's do a not large tile. I need a smaller tile. Maybe even just a tile tile. There we go. One, two. Let's see if that's too far. Move. And we should be able to go, what is it? Rotate, turn, turn, rotate, turn, like that. All right. Thick boy to the outside. Ooh. Maybe one more. One more might be too much. B, 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 B. <sighs> it was too much. Hmm. All right, let's move this one out of the way. Move you. And let's see if that glitches onto no, it does not. Dang. Is that the only part that welds? Is this back part? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe so. But even though it may be so, it's time to go. That's my aqua flow. You're welcome, aqua. <laughs> it's my lumber jam. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things you're supposed to call out at the end of the video like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. I love you for that. I think you're amazing. I think you're unique. And there's only one of you in the world. So make sure that you know that you're special. Love you guys. <sighs> Outro.